Hello, we are Yıldız Robert team from Yıldız Technical University of Istanbul, Turkey. I'm a technical team captain, Aydın, and this is our fourth generation rover, Genesis. Yıldız Rover was founded in 2018, and since then we've competed in major robotic competitions such as URC, ARC, ERC, and Technofest. In the past four years, we proudly represented Turkey with top national and international achievements, including second place and special awards in UKET, first place in Technofest, and being a finalist in a NASA-backed event. Our team operates out of the workshop at Yıldız Technical University's Davutpasha campus. Sponsor support is crucial for larger scale production needs. Besides being a workspace, our workshop is a central gathering point for the team, fostering a collaborative and research focused atmosphere. This setup fuels our drive for innovation and competitive success. Our team is made up of five sub teams mechanical, electronics, software, science, and organization. Now let's meet the people behind the rover. Hi, I'm Kardelen, the organization captain of Yıldız Rover. Genesis follows a multidisciplinary structure with 29 members across seven specialized sub-teams, four technical and three business, coordinated through centralized leadership and ongoing communication. The organization team keeps everything running smoothly, managing planning, sponsorships and logistic while fueling team spirit and collaboration. We use Google Calendar and Notion for effective task planning and tracking. Our systematic approach includes designing, building and testing the rover on campus under competition-like conditions, allowing us to validate functionality and resolve issues early. Hi, I am Asen, the business development captain of Yıldız Rover. The European Rover Challenge is one of the world's most prestigious robotics competitions, a true test of science, engineering and teamwork. Our vision is clear, to build a smart, reliable and mastery rover. The European Rover Challenge is more than just a competition for us. It's a real-world testbed for applying what we learn in the classroom to complex, interdisciplinary problems. We believe that the ERC offers an invaluable platform for learning, collaboration and innovation on a global scale. By participating, we aim not only to test our rover, but also to push the limits of what we can achieve as students. Through this experience, we are building a legacy at Yıldız Rover one that future teams can learn from and build upon. We are proud to represent Turkey and show that with enough passion and determination, young engineers can achieve great things on the international stage. Our rover Genesis is designed for reliable performance across uneven and demanding surfaces. It utilizes a record suspension system paired with a low center of gravity, ensuring stability and continuous ground contact while reducing shock loads on the frame. The chassis is constructed from modular 6000 series aluminum T-slot profiles, which provide both structural strength and ease of maintenance during field operations. The vehicle's airless TPU tires 3D printed using TPU material and feature a spoke-style internal structure that enhances durability, grip, and flexibility on Mars-like terrain. Each wheel is powered by an R755 brushed DC motor operating at 24 volts and coupled with a 101 to 1 planetary gearbox. This setup delivers the necessary torque to overcome the steep inclines up to 45 degrees while maintaining precise control. Genesis is equipped with six degrees of robotic arm designed for both precision and adaptability. With an end effector reach up to 1200 mm, the arm is capable of performing a wide range of manipulation tasks in diverse mission scenarios. Constructed using a combination of carbon fiber tubing, aluminum joints, and 3D printed PLA components, the arm maintains a balance between structural integrity and low weight, a critical factor in maintaining rover stability. Robotic arm is powered by a combination of brushes, DC, and servo motors integrated with custom reducers, including warm gear and cycloidal system to minimize backlash and ensure precision control. To handle different mission tasks, Genesis features two interchangeable end effectors. The first is standard gripper, equipped with embedded camera for precision handling of switches, props, and connectors. The second is parallel gripper, specifically designed for large surface samples capable of securely grasping rocks and regolates over 15 cm in size. The quick swap design ensures minimal downtime between tasks and adaptability in the field. To enhance environmental awareness and extend our reach, Genesis is equipped with a quadrotor drone designed for autonomous aerial tasks. The drone supports missions such as air area scanning, target localization and visual confirmation of terrain features. Constructed using lightweight and durable materials, the frame ensures a structural stability while minimizing vibration during flight. The system performs takeoff, horizontal movement in all three axes, and precise landing all autonomously. Our rover Genesis is powered by a 25.2 volts, 41.6 ampere hour lithium ion battery pack that's arranged in six series cells. For safety measures, our battery pack is backed with a battery management system board that prevents any battery malfunctions and allows for more balanced cell charging. 
The electronic infrastructure of our rover is organized around several K circuit boards, the power distribution board, main hub, motor driver, and robotic arm. The power distribution board manages the rover's power system. It takes in 24 volt input and converts it to 12 volt and 5 volt, distributing power to the rest of the system. The PDB also includes reverse polarity protection and INA series current sensors for current monitoring. The main hub serves as the central communication unit of the system. All communication between the boards is handled through this unit, and the CAN bus is located on this board. It also features an STM microcontroller which oversees overall system control. Drive system consists of four DC motors which are controlled via the motor driver board. Each motor's speed and direction are managed through commands sent to the driver. Robotic arm is also powered by four DC motors. The robotic arm board distributes the voltage received from the rover to the motor drivers, enabling precise control of the arm. This board also includes an STM microcontroller, reverse polarity protection and current sensors. Communication between the microcontrollers and the main control units within the rover is handled via the CAN bus protocol. As a backup, the UART protocol is also configured and ready for use for long range and high bandwidth data transmission, omnidirectional antennas operating and 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz are utilized. Additionally, various serial communication protocols such as SPI, ISOCRC, RS-485 and RS-422 are employed for interfacing with peripheral devices like sensors and encoders. Our emergency stop button is easily accessible and able to halt rover's operations under any circumstances. As a software team, we have upgraded our autonomy system and migrated from ROS1 to ROS2 to stay up to date. For localization of the rover, we fuse IMU wheel encoder data using an extending camel filter, a visual inertial slam processes stereo camera's depth and visual features, enabling consistent 3D mapping with real-time accurate localization. Obstacle avoidance is handled by a heuristic path planning algorithm that uses the occupancy grid generated by SLAM. This algorithm enables the rover to choose the shortest and safest path by analyzing the environment and avoiding potential hazards. For long-range error detection, we blend OpenCV with a fast time rt powered yellow model and keeping markers sharp even at distance and under motion blur. This hybrid approach significantly boosts accuracy and reliability, ensuring robust performance in challenging situations. Our whole autonomy system is tested in Unity before testing it in real conditions. With ROS integration, we can easily test our ROS-based software in Unity. The control and simulation of the robotic arm on the rover were carried out using MoveIt, a widely used and powerful motion planning framework in ROS2. In the simulation environment, MoveIt enables precise motion planning, collision avoidance, and smooth execution of complex arm movements. Thanks to MoveIt, the robotic arm stacks can be accurately planned and tested before being applied in real-world conditions. We are currently developing a system where the panel pose is locked using ERCO markers during the maintenance task. A combination of classic image processing techniques and a lightweight CNN is used to detect every switch and indicator. On our drone, the Pixar flight controller and Raspberry Pi 5 work together. The Pixar handles the flight operation, while Raspberry Pi communicates with it using Mailing protocol. This allows the Raspberry Pi to receive real-time data like speed, position, and altitude from the Pixar and also send commands when necessary. In critical stations, it can autonomously initiate an emergency landing. A camera connected to the Raspberry Pi captures live video during flight, which is later used for detection tasks. For our probe detection, we implemented a robust system within MATLAB and Simulink. It employs advanced image processing and object detection to accurately identify probes. This information then drives our high-level logic and decision-making for autonomous mission execution. As a science team, we are examining wireless mariners using applications like GMARS and Google Earth Pro to analyze the region's geological features and develop a hypothesis. We collect regolith and rock samples using our grip per mechanism and deep soil samples using our drill system capable of reaching 30 cm depth. After collection, the samples are transferred into the container and weighed with a weight sensor. To collect the necessary data, our science mechanism is equipped with various measurement and analysis tools. The near-infrared reflectance spectrometer is used to analyze possible water and mineral content of the solid samples. We evaluate the region's suitability for life using humidity, temperature, methane, pH, MPK and gas sensors. Cameras will also be used to utilize our sediment archive and to detect unexpected standing objects.